Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my eyebrow tutorial. I'm finally getting around to doing this video. I was actually going to film a makeup tutorial, but I saw so many people requesting me to do an eyebrow tutorial. I'm going to share with you the products that I use to fill in my eyebrows. And let me just show you really quick, literally what I use. Um, this is what I've been using as of lately and I love it. I have been using the Anastasia Dip Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony for a while now. So this is what I use. I absolutely love it though. It is a really great product. And then with that, I like to set my eyebrows with this Bodyography. Um, it's a, like a little trio and this is in the color Essential. I did get this in my BoxyCharm like a month or two months ago. I will have their website links this is a really good product obviously you don't have to have this you can just use whatever you have but this is this is supposed to be like a universal type of brow thing I use the I use the darkest color just to set the eyebrows in place and I like to use some sort of um, gel just to keep my eyebrows in place especially for these little pelitos that like stand up like this because they don't naturally stand up for me so I like to just keep them in place. This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and this is a clear one. Anastasia has one and they're pretty much the same thing. I really like this one. It does stay in place. And something that I feel is super essential for your eyebrows to be on fleek is a good eyebrow pencil. <clears throat> excuse me this is by the same brand of bodyography and this one is just super super slim it's really thin so it gets into your eyebrows really nicely and the last thing that i like to use is some sort of concealer i use this eyeshadow base by nyx you guys know that this is my ride or die so i use that to just carve out my eyebrows so yeah that is everything that i use and i will be showing you how i fill in my eyebrows i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to know how i get these eyebrows then just keep on watching so the first thing that i like to go in with is the anastasia dip pomade and i use the color ebony because i have black hair and this is the darkest one and i like to take it on a pencil like this this is a really thin pencil this is going to help outline our eyebrows now what i like to do is i like to brush my little hairs up these go up and then these just kind of go down then i'm going to take the pencil with some products and i do like to wipe the excess on the back of my hand and i'm going to start outlining or i'm going to follow the natural shape of my eyebrow just right underneath and i'm going to start about right here and just draw it underneath So as you can see, I'm not doing anything extra. I'm just really following the line of my brows. And I'm going to end it right where that ends. So right about there. So something like that. Now um, I'm slowly going to bring up the products because it does settle in pretty quickly. So make sure that you work fast with this. And then I'm going to take the other side, just a spoolie, whatever you have, and I'm going to lightly comb that out, just so we don't have like a harsh line. Now, with whatever I have left on the back of my hand, I'm going to go to the top of my brow, and again, I'm just going to follow the line. I like to start <clears throat> at about here, and I like to go as thick as you know how tall these little hairs are <clears throat> so I'm just gonna follow that shape and then I don't like it pointy so I just kind of round it off and you'll see that as I fill them in And as you can see, I really don't have much hair here. 
So this is just really going to help conceal that and just fill in any spaces where you may not have thick eyebrows. And then I'm just going to fill it in really lightly. Now obviously we don't want our eyebrows to look super drawn in and I'm just going to go ahead and take the spoolie side and I'm just going to blend everything out so it looks a little bit more natural. So now I'm going to go towards the beginning of the brow and I'm really just taking whatever's left on this and I'm going underneath again just following my shape. Now I am going to bring it in a little bit. So my natural hair stop about here, but I like to extend my eyebrows just a little bit, just like that. And then what I like to do, I like these hairs to be standing up like this, just like that. And because I don't have any little hairs right there, I'm going to take that brush and I'm going to flip it like this. And I'm going to be doing like a flicking motion and just... Um, mimicking hairs. Just like that and then just clean up whatever if you want to high up. And again just grab your brush. Blend everything. This side you always want to go light-handed because you don't want to be just super dark all over unless you like that I like more of that gradient effect to where it's just really light and then it goes dark so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is nice and blended now to set that in place I'm gonna take this color right here this is by the brand bodyography I got this in my boxy charm and I'm just gonna take the darkest color this is really pigmented so I don't need too much and I'm just going to set that pomade in place. I like to go in with an eyebrow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I've been using this since I got it a few months back and I love it. And it's just clear, pretty much like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It's a dupe for that. Now the very last thing that I like to do, and this is optional, you don't have to do this. This is just going to help your eyebrows look a little bit more intense or more clean. I'm going to take the NYX um, eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone. And I'm going to be taking a concealer brush and I'm only going to go underneath my eyebrows. A lot of people go up here. I really don't like that. That's a little too defined for me. But I like to do it underneath because it just really cleans up any mess that you may have made. And also if you have like any little palitos that you haven't plugged, then it's also going to conceal them. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of a difference in between having your eyebrows filled in and not having them filled in. So that was it. Like I said, it's really, really simple. Um, just make sure to always follow or try to follow as closely as possible the natural shape of your eyebrow. That's what's going to make it look the most natural because sometimes if you overdraw it too much, you can tell that they're not your real eyebrows. You know what I mean? So make sure you just kind of stay between, you know, muscle menos where the lines are. At least that's what I try to do. I know sometimes I go a little crazy and my eyebrows can look a little like bushy, but I dry. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also let me know in the comment section down below maybe what other videos you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!